welcome to Micro Lectures. Yeah, and we have uh, some comics who have come all the way down from L.A. tonight, and if things go well, they'll actually get a chance to do their lecture. That is so exciting. It really is. Can't wait. Uh, Adam Fuhrberg. Hello. Oh, he's he's in, in the, the corner. In, in the corner. Dark corner where he belongs. The infamous <laughs> corner. Yeah. And uh, Dr. David Robinson. Howdy. Tonight we're going to make martinis. An oft mistaken beverage. How so? How so? People fuck it up. They, they <laughs> first, first they, uh, they, they do all sorts of ridiculous things. And bars make a fortune with chocolate teenies or oh, special yeah. drinks. This Gross. is uh, uh, exactly. This is just going to be a basic martini. Is there such a thing anymore? There is. It's old fashioned and classic. Oh, great. So let's get so started. Awesome. But we do have some pretty cool stuff like mm -hmm. uh, this. Um, these are common barbecue tongs. <laughs> we we uh, didn't have the ice tongs. That was a nipple clamp. <laughs> well, you don't want to just stick your hand into the ice. You don't want to do it like I that. I know, you don't want to get Whoa. <laughs> Dirty hands. Yeah, we got to get rid of that. <laughs> That's how you do it, but you, you want to. Ah, oh, oh. Ah. You really want to fill up the whole shape of this one. <laughs> you want to fill up. And it's amazing. There's caviar. You could, just, you could just keep putting ice in, and it's like bottomless. But that's the point. You, you fill you up the way shaker. Up. All the way up. You fill it up. You fill it up. That's the key. Right to the top. Feel how cold that's getting. That's just with the ice. ice. That's just with the ice. Now, watch what I'm gonna do. We're watching. I'm gonna add the the gin. Don't make your martinis with vodka. N not vodka yeah, gin. You know why they uh, make vodka martinis? How uh, that came James about? Bond. Well, I don't know if it's James Bond. It's just that people wanted to start drinking during lunch, and there's no smell on the vodka. And so they would use that. Oh. But you started that. Yeah, but a real man should smell like gin. Well, this gin is, is so if, if I'm not mistaken, vodka. isn't the uh, the vodka martini, the basic vodka martini, known as a Vesper? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not. I think he's that. perfectly serious. I, I um, and the classic joke is, and now you add the vermouth. <laughs> uh, you do really want a little vermouth because it dries out. The, uh, right. Uh, I'm going to show you something. Okay. The classic blunder that a person makes is buying a bottle this size of vermouth. I've been drinking martinis for a decade. This is a decade worth of vermouth. <laughs> <laughs> so don't buy the big bottle. You're going to throw out most of it anyway. <laughs> you want to just pour a little into the cap. Maybe you see like about that much? You want to add that? You want to start? Add that right in. That's it. That's Every all you put in. For That's all it. that gin, you put a cap, half a cap full of vermouth. Might as well not put anything. No, no, you need a little dot. Let, let me ask you a question, if, if I may. Uh, when, when I was uh, working behind the bar, uh, it was traditional to uh, drop a little bit of vermouth into the glass, swirl it to coat the glass, and then toss the remainder. I would send it back. Okay. <laughs> But for example, like Feel the, how the, cold that the is idea now. where you um, wow, you lubricate really cool. the glass slightly. Did you with, say lubricate? I think, yeah, I did. I think uh, that's all bartender did. show. It was the it word looks nice. The, the bartender the doing that. Yeah, it, it looks right. nice. The bartender looks like they know what they're doing, but all they're doing is fucking up your drink. <laughs> Way too much vermouth. So you fucked up a lot of drinks, doctor. It's People all seem about to like the, them. the shaker. All about the shaker. But I, wait a minute. I thought you were a stirrer. Yes, yeah, one well, of my friends subscribes to the idea that the shaking is just another James Bond trick. It's a it's a sham, but this is this is the way you uh, make a classic. Okay. But I will be doing a lecture later where I talk about why you should stir it and not shake it. But okay. as he shakes it, yeah, uh, we're, this is just it's better so, for TV. Right, that's it. That's the martini. That's the martini. Wow, he's really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, that's not the martini. That's that's really the, the cocktail. And notice, uh, I really have, have made the, the perfect amount. Wow. But now that's impressive. Now you got to add the uh, the thing that really makes it beautiful. 
Now I see you're uh, you're using the blue cheese stuffed olives there. That's a great observation. Um, they were on sale. <laughs> 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 you can use them. But, uh, that would be nice. Look at that. That will fuck you up. <laughs> and that's why two of them for lunch makes for a great day. Makes for the end of the day. <laughs> makes for the end of the day. Cheers. Cheers. Taste that. Delicious. Now vermouth is, is actually a wine. That's uh, right. The kind of wine. A white. White. <laughs> <laughs>